Welcome back my art friends. Today we are gonna paint a fun little porcupine. You're gonna need blue, green, white, red, purple, brown, and black. You're gonna need our three main brushes, your medium flat brush and then a medium and small round brush. And today you're also gonna need a fork. So you can use a plastic fork or a metal fork. They both work just fine. Don't forget to have a rag and a cup of water ready for rinsing your brushes out. Let's go ahead and start with our background. I'm gonna start by making a green line about two inches up on my by 11 by 14 canvas. And I'm just gonna fill this whole space in. Once the space is filled in, I'm gonna take the same brush with just a little bit of white paint on it, and I'm just gonna make some um, stamped lines that kind of go up and down. This is just gonna give a little bit of a texture that could be grass. You don't have to go above your green line, but if you accidentally do, that's okay. Just add some texture to it. I'm gonna wash this brush off and everything above this green line, I'm going to paint with green, I lied. I'm going to paint with blue and white. So I'm gonna first cover my whole thing with blue and I'm then gonna add just a couple spots of white and blend that color in to lighten up my background. We've got a great background ready to go. We're gonna let this dry and we come back, we're gonna lay out our mushrooms and our porcupine. With a dry background, we are gonna lay out where our mushrooms are gonna go and where our porcupine's gonna go. So I'm gonna use my medium round brush with some white paint and I'm just gonna make a gigantic circle right here. This is gonna be my porcupine. And then over here on this side, um, you can add as many mushrooms as you want. I like to do things in three, so I'm gonna add three mushrooms. And to make a mushroom, you're gonna start with a rectangle shape. Now, at the base of that rectangle shape, you do want it to kind of come out a little bit and round out the bottom. So now it kind of looks like a scientist glass dish, right? And then at the top of this mushroom, I'm going to make a curved line that looks like a smiley face. I'm gonna round out those edges. And then I'm gonna put a big mushroom top on it. So this is how we're gonna make our mushrooms for all three of them. First, I'm just gonna lay these guys out and then we're gonna add some color. Now that I have all of these areas lined out, I am going to fill them in with color. I am going to fill in my tops of my mushrooms with white because I am gonna add a color to those and I want there to be a nice clean base for my color to go on. But then I'm gonna make the stems of my mushrooms a light brown color.
Now for my mushroom stems, I'm gonna start by filling in the stems with white. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of brown on my brush. I'm just gonna drop it in some straight lines on my stem and I'm gonna put it right there at the top. Then I can just kind of pull these colors down. I don't want it to mix all the way. I do want to see some of that brown and some of that white. If you do get a little bit too mixy mixy, you can go back in and add some lines of white in there just so you could still see some of that brown and some of that white. And I'm gonna do that with all three of my stems. Now for the tops of my mushrooms, I'm gonna paint um, a purple one, a blue one, and a red one. So I want my purple to be a little bit lighter, so I'm actually gonna go put it in right now with my white paint still wet. I'm gonna go around this guy. My red one's going to be in front of my purple one. little bit of dark purple on here. I'm going to start at this crack right here and this one right here and I'm going to pull just a little bit of that color in so you can kind of see where the mushroom starts to tilt up higher. Do the same thing on the bottom here as well. Right, I'm gonna do the same thing with my blue mushroom. I'm gonna let it dry and do the same thing with my red mushroom. I'm gonna go ahead and fill my brown circle in for my porcupine body. So the whole thing we're just gonna fill with a nice solid brown color. white paint. I'm going to make a wavy line at the top of where his face is going to go and then I'm just going to connect it with a round letter U shape. I'm going to fill this in with white. My brown is already wet so it's blending nicely. Your goal is to have a light brown face shape in the middle. It kind of looks like a cartoon balloon heart. finish these mushrooms off. I'm going to paint this last mushroom in red.
Our highlights on our red mushroom will come from purple paint, which means I'm gonna put my purple paint spots right there and then pull those colors on in. And then the little bit of low light that we're gonna add, which is kind of like a shadow, I'm gonna take just a little bit of brown paint right along the bottom of my mushroom. I'm gonna dry my brush off and then I'm just gonna pull that color down. That way it looks like I've got a little bit of a shadow from where my mushroom top is. I'm gonna do that to all three of my mushrooms. With my itty bitty babe brush and some white paint, I'm gonna add just a small highlight on the top of my little mushrooms. Maybe even some on the edge of my mushrooms. Just a couple little lines. And then I'm gonna use my finger to add some polka dots. So I'm gonna add some polka dots to all my mushrooms and they don't have to all be in the center. You could try to make some look like they're kind of going off the edge, but I think your fingers make fantastic size dots. If you do not wanna get your fingers dirty, feel free to just use a paintbrush and paint a couple polka dots on there. Now let's focus on our cute little porcupine. Make sure you have that fork ready so that you know what the next step is gonna be and you're not running to the kitchen to try to find a fork. First things first, let's get our porcupine's face ready. So I'm gonna use a little bit of white paint on the tip of my finger and not in the middle, but just above the middle, I'm gonna make a large spot and I do want to mix it with my browns. If your brown's already too dry, put a little bit of brown on your finger. Otherwise, you're just gonna mix a big spot right here with white paint, letting that brown mix in. Let's smooth out this little bottom edge right here. Now I'm gonna use the back of my big brush with some black paint to make his eyes. And his eyes are gonna be down relatively low, close to that white spot, nice and big. His nose is gonna be black and right in the middle of this white spot and a little bit smaller. Everything else we're gonna wait till his face totally dries to add on. All right, let's do his little feet. With some black paint on my itty bitty baby brush, right down here, I am just gonna make three little marks. Those are just his toes peeking out to say hi. Three little marks. Now, let's talk about some spikes. This is where the fun happens. So we're gonna use our fork with a mixture of white, brown, and black paint to add some spikes to our little guys. So let's zoom out a hair and add some spikes. You may wanna try your fork technique on a piece of paper or your tablecloth before you get started, or you could just jump right in. Here's the trick. You wanna make sure that the paint is either a little bit watered down or you dab off the extras. You do not wanna go on having all the space in between your fork covered. You wanna make sure you kinda of dab that extra off so you see those fork lines. 
And then what we're gonna do is we are just going to roll the fork. See that? Roll the fork. Roll that fork. Now, every time you do this, you might get a slightly different amount of fork. Like this one right here is super small. This one's really long. It's just gonna happen, but you can layer them. Feel free to go on top of each other and layer them. I'm gonna first go with my black because it's gonna be my darkest color. And it's gonna be the part that I see kind of poking off. I didn't wash my fork off, I just wiped it off. And I'm gonna go now in with some brown. Again, make sure that you don't have too much paint on there. And these ones we can actually kind of pull inward towards where his face is. We don't really wanna go on top of the light area. So you're gonna to wanna to lay your fork down to make sure you don't go on the white area. But this will pull a little bit of that black in as well as that brown in. Now for the white, we are just going to have the very tips of the fork covered. So if you look at this, just a little bit on the very tips, you do not need a whole lot of white on there. And you are going to just drop a couple spots of white in every, every once in a while, kind of change the height in which they are. Wipe your, your fork off if you need to, so you don't get it all mixed up. How cute is that little guy? All right, let's finish out his face. With my black paint and my itty bitty baby brush, I am going to add two small little curved lines right above his eyes, on the outside of his eyes. These are gonna be his eyebrows. He's a curious little guy. I'm gonna put a small little curved line right above his nose. I'm gonna make a gigantic letter W right underneath his mouth, or right underneath his nose. A small little line underneath that. And let's zoom out and check out our picture so far. Let's add in our finishing touches on our porcupine. So I'm going to use a little bit of black paint on my itty bitty baby brush and I'm going to add on here, watch this, right at the top of the eye, just a small little curve. Look at how much character that adds. Just a small little curve. Adorable, right? I'm also going to add with the back of my paintbrush a couple small little white dots. And I'm going to put one white dot on the top right of his nose, an itty bitty small one. And the same thing on the top right of his eyes. I might even have enough to put two on there. Now, if you like your painting how it is, 
awesome. If you are like me and you like to have things kind of um, changed up a little bit, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some ghost lines around my polka dots now that they're dry. So I'm gonna take the darker color. So for example, the purple that I have, I'm gonna use the darker purple and I'm gonna add a small curved-ish line part, part way around my circles. I mean, these are kind of more like um, half circles or letter C shapes to go around these. I'm also going to take a little bit of green paint and I'm just going to put some little green lines right at the base of my mushrooms where there's some grass growing over the base of them. Last but not least, if you want to add words in your sky, we've left a bunch of space up there. You can write free hugs. You can write anything you want, really. There's a great space for that. But when you are finished, your job is always to pick a color that will show up on your canvas and to sign your name. Now remember, the only way we can see what you're making is if you post it on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. If you stay up to date on our YouTube channel, that means you are already a subscribed member. But if you're not, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can see all of our latest fun tutorials. And remember, as always, Stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye.